How are Yo, you? we're going. Uh, we didn't get to talk to you, um, you know, after you got drafted. So just, you know, sort of go back. What, what was what was that moment like, and you know, what was it like being drafted? Uh, yeah, man. Um, it was just it was just a, you know, an uncertainty. Um, just just sitting around, just waiting for my name to be called. And, um, once my name got called, it was crazy. That's why I couldn't, you know, what I'm saying take any phone calls when they asked me to to do the, do the media. But it was just it was great, man. I, I was with all my family and friends. Um, I was down in Miami. So it, it was just great just hearing my name called, just knowing how hard I worked just to be in a position to even get my name called, and it was fun to be to enjoy with my family. What was it like to hear, I mean, you know, the Patriots have so much history here. Uh, what was kind of your impression when you heard it was, like, the Patriots who had drafted you? Um, yeah, it, it was very exciting, um, just knowing that, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a huge name that, that a tight end player here like Grunk, mm. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I can follow his footsteps, you know what I'm saying? So being here, you know what I'm saying, over these past two days, I've just, just been soaking it all in, you know what I'm saying, and come Monday, just learn from some of the vets and see how things really operate around here and just just um, just um get ready to, you know what I'm saying, ball. And I, and I understand in college, you lined up everywhere. You're out wide in the slot, right in the in the backfield. Like, how would you sort of describe yourself as an athlete and as a football player? All right, man, I just, I just uh, consider myself as a ball player. Um, I, as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, I played a lot of different positions, so I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm being asked to do, I feel like I can do it. Um, I have no issues with doing it. So any anything that a coach put at me, um, I know I can do it, you know what I'm saying, at the best of my ability. Did, did, How surreal was the moment just to be wearing the Patriot logo and on the NFL practice field? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yesterday when I came out here yesterday for the first time, um, I had to take a deep breath because um, it, still, it still doesn't feel real. Um, I, I just, you know what I'm saying, be sitting back just thinking like I made it to the NFL. Um, a lot of people don't get to say that. And, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't get to say that. They heard their name called as well. So just coming out here yesterday, um, I had to take a deep breath, you know what I'm saying? It still, it still doesn't feel real to me. Um, at this moment, it still doesn't feel real. But it's just very exciting to be able to put, you know what I'm saying, that NFL logo on my chest and then be able to wear, you know what I'm saying, the Patriots also on my, uh, on my uniform as well. You talked about um, Gronk and being able to follow in his footsteps here. What's part, some parts of his game that you really admire? Uh, just his catching ability um, and also his, his physicality. Um, he's, he's a very strong guy. Um, I, I feel like I'm a very strong guy as well. So I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, just, just stacking days each day and I feel like I can be another great here as well. You were here last year against BC. What do you remember about that day and that game? You had a, a pretty big day. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I remember coming down, um, getting getting ready for that game, and you know what I'm saying. It was, I really didn't know what to expect because I never had been this far. Um, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm from Florida, so you know everybody know how that goes. So it, it was fun to be here. Um, I, I thought it was gonna be cold. It said it was gonna be cold. I came out with long sleeve on, ski mask, so I'm thinking <laughs> it was gonna be cold than what it really was. And I actually had to come out of all of that, so uh, it, it was fun. What did you think of the weather today? Uh, today, uh, it started off a little cold. I was, I was telling all the coaches, man, I'm from Florida, man. You know, you know it's hot down there, so <laughs> so anything anything under 60, I'm going long sleeve sweatpants. So I'm from Florida, so I got I got to stay, you know what I'm saying, warm. Wait till the snow starts. What are you gonna do that? Man, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to come up with a plan. <laughs> do, you, do your hands hurt anymore with Milton and uh, May throwing throwing darts at you? I mean, no, nah, not really. It just it's just a, a normal thing to me, you know what I'm saying, especially if you're a guy that's always on the jug machine. So being, being able to catch balls like that, you know what I'm saying, that's just a, a work ethic from the jug machine. So catching balls like that, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's kind of normal to me. So it's all good. What did you I mean, notice about like the that? Patriots did a, a lot of homework, met with you a bunch of times in the draft process and stuff like that. Uh, were you surprised that, that they called your name? You know, it seemed like you, you were pretty connected to them. Uh, no, nah, when I heard my name called, um, I, I felt very well welcome. Because, you know what I'm saying, I took one of my visits here. Um, I, I heard from them a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I talked to one of the coaches at the, uh, my uh, pro day. So just hearing my name called, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, it, it was the right move. You know what I'm saying? I, I met with everybody in the building. So just hearing my name called from them, it, it just, I already knew a lot of people here. And I felt, I felt welcome. So. What have you noticed about Drake, Drake May and Joe Milton just from being out here with them the last two uh, years? They, they both are competitors. You know? and that, that, that's kind of what I like. I like being around competitors because I'm a, I'm a very competitor myself. Um, I, I just love competition. So just being around other guys like that, I just feel like it'll make this program better, um, the, the, lo the locker room better, and then we just, you know what I'm saying, be able to succeed each day. Two more questions. All over the place in college. I'm curious, are you trying to learn all the positions as quickly as you can, or are you trying to take it bit by bit and learn each one? Um, whatever they ask me to, to learn, that's what I'm gonna learn. Um, it, it, that's why I say, I mean, it, it's not difficult for me to learn a lot of different positions because, I mean, I've been doing it since, you know what I'm saying, I was in high school. so. Just being able to pick up on things, I pick up on things very quickly. So whatever I'm asked to do, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, to play the tight end position, the 
the fullback position, slot, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can learn it because, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it for a while now. Last question. Um, coach is a rookie head coach. What are your kind of initial impressions of him and how he's sort of gotten this thing going? Uh, when I came to my visit, um, I, I didn't even know he was the head coach until, you know what I'm saying, they, they told me it was him because he, he was like one of the players. You know? um, I, I like coaches like that, that, you know what I'm saying, that hang out. You know what I'm saying? When they players around the building, you know what I'm saying? Don't act like a head coach. You know how some head coaches, they just, you know what I'm saying? They, you can tell that's a head coach, but I couldn't really tell that I was the head coach until, you know what I'm saying, I was introduced. But it, it's, it's cool, you know what I'm saying, to be around a coach like that, you know what I'm saying? A player-led a player -led coach, you know what I'm saying? So it's fun just to be around a guy like that. Thanks, James. Thank, Thank y'all.